East Village is known as New York City's most eclectic and punky neighborhood. The area has a rich history and has grown to become one of the top food and nightlife destinations in the city. In this video, we will explore the neighborhood and show you the best things to do and see in this colorful Manhattan neighborhood. Hey everyone, so where we are today is Manhattan's historic, eclectic, and interesting East Village neighborhood. Now, what is the East Village known for? Um, well, historically, it has been known as a immigrant community. So this is a neighborhood where a lot of immigrants came when they first entered the United States. And it kind of continued that reputation up until about the mid 80s, 1990s. So what it's known for today is being one of the best places in New York City to eat and for nightlife. So you're going to see a lot of restaurants, you're going to see a lot of bars, and it's very quirky and it's very interesting. Um, you also see amazing architecture, and the demographics around here mostly are young urban professionals and kind of hipsters. So you're going to get a young vibe. You're also very close to um, NYU, so you get kind of a college vibe mixed with a you know young 20s to early 30s vibe. So let's begin. East Village is a neighborhood that is renowned for its artistic and creative legacy, cultural diversity, and avant-garde spirit. The neighborhood has become a haven for bohemian and creative types in the past several decades, but also maintains an interesting history. Now the first site that you have to see when you're here in the East Village is St. Mark's Church in the Bowery. Now this is the second oldest church building in New York City. It was built in 1799, so it's very interesting inside. It's very historic, very old, and it's definitely something to see, especially if you're into history. Um, it's also the oldest continually inhabited church, so though it's not the oldest church building, it's the oldest church congregation, and it's right here in the East Village. So let's head in. St. Mark's Church in the Bowery is a cherished historical landmark nestled in the heart of the East Village. The building and church holds a significant place in both the city's architectural and cultural history. Its Gothic Revival architecture towers impressively over the row houses and brownstones in the neighborhood. This church was paramount in the community for centuries and was the place of worship for notable New York figures like Peter Stuyvesant and holds his remains. Also check out the church's graveyard to see notable New York City figures final resting place. When you're in the East Village, you must check out McSorley's Ale House. The tavern is an iconic New York City landmark steeped in history and serves as one of the city's oldest continually operating bars. Stepping into McSorley's is like stepping back in time with its rustic interior, sawdust covered floors, and vintage memorabilia. The bar is known for its unique McSorley's Dark Ale and has welcomed many famous patrons from Abraham Lincoln to John Lennon. Right across the street from McSorley's Ale House is the famous and prestigious Cooper Union. Founded in 1859, this extremely selective college is famous for being tuition free. It is known worldwide in the arts, architecture, and engineering. The iconic foundation building and the adjacent square stand as a symbol of the institution's legacy in the neighborhood and dedication to intellectual and artistic endeavors. Now, one of the 
best things that you should do here in the East Village is take a stroll down St. Mark's Place. Now, this is arguably one of the most eclectic streets in New York City. So you're gonna see lots of uh, quirky restaurants, bars. Um, it has a very young feel, very hip feel. Um, you're gonna see a lot of weird things. So it's definitely uh, something worth seeing. So let's take a walk. St. Mark's Place is the commercial center of the East Village and is one of the most legendary streets in all of New York. This corridor pulsates with unique energy and eclectic charm. Known for its bohemian spirit and countercultural history, St. Mark's Place has served as a gathering place for artists, musicians, and liberal and free thinkers for decades. When you're walking through the East Village and St. Mark's Place in general, you're gonna notice very young, hip, and very liberal vibe, right? So one thing to note is that this is one of the earliest neighborhoods in New York City to gentrify in the 1980s and early 1990s, right? So this was one of the first places that people went. So you got a real kind of like edgy, funky vibe here. And it still continues to this day. Um, now, it's not the original uh, gentrifiers, right? Because those people are in their like 50s and 60s now, right? But they were replaced by still a very young crowd, mostly in their 20s um, and early 30s. And you're gonna see that as you go through. It has a very young vibe. walk through this interesting and bustling corridor, you'll notice an array of vintage shops, quirky boutiques, cuisines from all over the world, music venues, and more. This street remains a beacon of creative expression and a true testament to the constantly evolving culture throughout the East Village. One thing you must check out in the East Village is the Russian and Turkish Baths Health Club. This iconic neighborhood institution has been functioning since 1892 and provides a traditional Russian and Turkish bath experience. People from all over Manhattan come here to get an authentic spa experience and have been known to serve many well-known A-list celebrities. Maybe you'll see one in the sauna. Check their website before you go because some days are male only. On the days that are co-ed, bathing suits are required, but on the male-only days, clothing is optional. place you have to check out when you're here in the East Village is Tompkins Square Park, which is where I am now. So basically this is a large park in the middle of the East Village and um, it has beautiful gardens, big old aged trees. It's a great place to kind of escape the city for a little while, escape all the bars and restaurants and all the eclectic shops. Um, 
What's cool about this park is that it maintains the reputation of the neighborhood as well. What's great about this park is it maintains the reputation and the vibe of the community around it. So you're gonna see a lot of young people. Um, a lot of people don't like Tompkins Square Park. A lot of people think it's kind of a drug hangout, a homeless hangout. Um, a lot of rats in here at night. It's not New York City's best park. Um, but if you come during the day, it's safe. Um, I don't know if I'd walk through here at night. It could be a little seedy because there's a very large homeless population and drug population. But during the day, it's fine. So definitely check it out and, you know, take a rest in here when you're on your journey in the East Village. Tompkins Square Park is a beloved green oasis filled with lush trees, open lawns, attractive gardens, and charming pathways. The park has served as a historic gathering place for various cultural movements from the folk music scene of the 1960s to the punk music scene in the 1980s to historical and present day political protests and demonstrations and community events. This park serves as a focal point in the community and is a cherished symbol of resilience and community in the East Village. Okay guys, that was the East Village. Now I had a great time showing this neighborhood. Um, it really is New York City's most eclectic, young, hip, punky, trendy, whatever you wanna call it, neighborhood. And it's very interesting to see when you're here visiting New York. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment box below. Um, and listen guys, if you like this kind of content, please make sure you uh, subscribe so you get more videos. Um, like this video, share this video, and leave me your suggestions on more things to do when you're here in the East Village and in New York City. Okay guys, until next time, take care. Bye.